you guys to guess the title of today's video. Just listen to this. Sundays is to have like a little salvation story Sunday so basically it's when I'll have different people coming up on the channel to talk and share about you know how they got to discover about Jesus Christ how they got to be born again so it will be hypocritical of me to start off by having different people on the channel talk about their salvation stories without me actually having to share my own so here it is <laughs> let's get right into the video okay so guys <laughs> as you all might know by now um i was born into a christian family uh what i mean by this is basically that my mom was a christian like ever since i was born <laughs> since 2001 guys she's been a christian so like by the time that you know i came into the picture she was already like a devoted member of church i won't say the name of the church because there are a whole lot of churches in the sequence nice so um that means like when i was growing up sunday was like a normal routine for us like sunday would be a church routine for us same with wednesday friday and saturday would be in church so yeah basically I, I knew that i had to go to sunday school you know sunday would come and little me would go to sunday school i enjoyed it because we got to color and get snacks and stuff so okay nothing lost anything <laughs> so yeah basically that was the routine for every sunday so i remember being 11 years old or like around about the 10 11 12 somewhere but i know i wasn't a teenager yet so i would go up to you know the altar call you know in the pastor calls for people that want to receive christ um if you want to say the prayer of salvation and then they call you up to the front yeah so i remember being at that age and every single time when the pastor would give an altar call so every single time the pastor would give an altar call i would run to the front and repeat the prayer after him right it's not like i doubted but i would continually do this like i would go there and say the prayer of salvation over and over again but here's the catch every single person that got born again every new convert would have a special place where they would go and they would receive refreshments like you know little snacks sandwiches that sort of thing and also a free bible and yeah other other materials like i don't really remember what they were i know there was a bible and there was definitely food so seriously my friend and i made it like a routine of ours to you know go every single sunday to get born again because we wanted the food and the free bible you know i don't really remember what we did with those bibles honestly i think we just stacked them up in the house somewhere um <laughs> you know looking back that was absolutely crazy um so like i would go there and just get food we got like you know guys i went there so many times to the extent that the ushers and all the counselors that were like there they ended up knowing my face like uh, uh we've seen you before what are you doing here so i came up with the story that i'm here with my aunt i'm here with this i'm here with that so every single sunday when i would go there i'll tell them no i'm here with the soul i'm here with someone that's new that's why i'm sitting here then you know because i'm a kid they would obviously give me something to chow you know what i'm saying <laughs> Wild, 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 if you ask me that was critically insane clinically insane so yeah fast forward um around about 13 years old so now like the entire family was like getting involved in church now like my whole entire family was like dedicated like we're going to church now including my dad so we'll get to church and my mom would drop me off at the teens church but my friend and I, we wouldn't enter the church. So where our church is situated, there's a shopping mall, just literally across the road. So my friend and I would, you know, just go to the mall, gallivant, window shop, try on clothes, 
until the service is over. Wow! And you know, back there, 20 grand was actually a lot of money. Like, I could give a lot of 20 rand. I remember my mom would give me 20 rand, and this was for offering. Hey, God. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> this 20 rand was for offering, but my friend and I would take it and would chow it, would buy whatever we wanted, you know, sweets, chocolate, cold drink, whatever, whatever, because it could buy all that and would enjoy the day and you know what i actually looked forward to going to church so that we could do that like so we could link up and just hang out so that's me around about 13 years old into when i was 14. so like yeah my life actually changed when i turned 15. so i was staying in south africa while all this was happening then our family moved back home guys <laughs> God, what does God does? Hey, you guys. You know, our family moved back home. And I remember being so sad because I had to let go of pretty much everything school-wise. Uh, my friendships that I built for almost all my life. And having to go to a country where nobody knows me. And I don't know anybody. And on top of all that, it's not like I was close with my relatives that were there. Like, I just talked to them here and there because... We never really go and visit home you know what i mean so yeah it's 2015 and i'm 15 years old or 2016 let's just say to be safe so i'm i'm back home now and you know my home country is quite different from south african culture okay let me just mention the country zimbabwe man zimbabwe is just so different and it's like it's so different the vibe is different the dressing is different the people are different everything is just like so i got there and i started to see you know the difference in cultures and stuff so i remember attending the first sunday service that i attended in zim um actually all the youth were not there because they had gone for some camp retreat type of thing and you know i was just like okay so like what is this about like i've never really you know experienced this like what is this camping about so the following friday after the camp they came back for like youth service type of thing and i tried i had never i had never in my entire existence actually attended a youth service this was my first you know youth or teen service ever and i met young people that were so vibrant for the lord young people that were serving god like wholeheartedly with their hands lifted up and tears in their eyes i'm like wow like something is really going on here i don't know what it is like i don't understand anything you know that's going on i don't know anything about the holy spirit but what i do know is you know these people are dedicated these people are committed to what they're doing so luckily i had my cousin brother who was around right about my age or who is around right about my age because he's still alive <laughs> okay um so yeah i think at that time he was 17 18 something there so you know he was also like one of the leaders at the church so like he started telling me that you know at the retreat we're studying god's word we were you know fasting praying i'm like wow you guys are really doing it <laughs> you know and i was like, okay like i want to join so a few weeks down the line i think they had another retreat thing and i also attended that so you know i attended it yeah was revived for like a minute like i studied god's word because we were basically told to and we have to you know what i mean um because i was just there so it wasn't like me intentionally studying god's word if you if you watched the video before this thing you know i was talking about having to study god's word intentionally so i hadn't gotten to that point right so yeah after the camp we went back you know i found a department that i was going to serve in and i just became more active in church you know just like the other youth that were there but it wasn't because like i understood what i was doing i just did it because everybody else was doing it you know that formal type of thing <laughs> i don't know if that's a real english word but yeah peer pressure basically like i just i just wanted to do what everybody else was doing right so as a fast forward 
like i'm gonna just be fast forwarding you know guys so yo guys imagine filming and this whole this whole thing wasn't even recording but anyway so my whole salvation story actually starts in 2019 so i was at this boarding school it was a christian boarding school christian in codes because there wasn't really anything that was christian about it except for the fact that in the mornings we'd pray together at the school and in the evenings like during the boarding time we would have devotions once in a while i don't know not, not often that's why i remember like it wasn't like every single day it was when we wanted to or when we can um we would pray together this is for the boarding but like for the day school we would have prayers every single day so everything changed in 2019 when i met this girl hmm. let's call her rose right so i met rose so basically rose was a new girl at the school and she came all the way from dubai so you know those girls that are like devoted christians like your mother mary's type of thing like your your nuns like she was that type of girl okay i'm exaggerating but she was like a genuine christian when i mean she actually reads her bible prays every day prays for others as well you know yeah she was a genuine christian guys you not not what i was me i was on and off like <sighs> i didn't even know what i was doing you know so she came into my life and she was so excited to come to the school because she shared her story like about like being in dubai and how her christian journey was in dubai it was so different from like us you know how we can like have the bible wherever go to church wherever and she told us about how her church was actually um located far away from the city and stuff like that because they really allow christians like that in dubai so it was quite inspiring to see how devoted she was and how seriously she took god's word and just the privilege of having a bible with you you know so i you know i just became interested in this girl like you know i would go up to her and i'll just wanna hear more about god's word you know she'll talk about god's word like it's a movie she watched yesterday you know she's like yo paul did this in ephesus and you know back basically in that place in ephesus um paul would go over oh, this one's in ephesus but anyway paul would go to ephesus and basically preach god's word to these people that worship idols and it was such a hectic situation because the people that were selling idols ran out of business and then they had no one to sell idols to anymore. They had a problem with Paul and went to him, this, that, this, that. It literally sounded like a movie and it sounded so exciting. I was like, girl, you have to fill me in. You have to fill me in. Give me all the details. And like, you know what? I can't. You actually have to study it for yourself. So she taught me, um, yeah, about like different ways to study the Bible. But like the main way I've already talked about, like studying the Bible in context. And that basically means having to understand like where the letter is written to or where the book is written to, who it's written to, why, um, and what was going on at that place at that time. So she told me that and also how to find different characters, highlight my Bible. You know, the story goes on and on. So at this moment there, I just knew that... Mm, something was off guys me i had given my life to christ 100 times when i was 10 years old <laughs> but now that i am 17 18 somewhere there um i wanted to take my life seriously like i just wanted to have something that i believe in and stand for it the same way that rose stood for the gospel like i just wanted what she had i want what she had <laughs> I went to where she had and my desire was so strong that I allowed her to mentor me and disciple me, you know, yeah. So on the 3rd of March, 2019, I gave my heart to Christ. Yeah. So I even remember the day, come on guys, I even remember the day it happened. I believe that there is a different time and there's a different place when you get born again and you know it. You know it like i had tears all over my eyes i was like lord genuinely on a surrender my life to you what can you do with me like what can you do with me i i'm just a teenager like i don't know much about this life thing going on and 
the only thing I'm focused on right now is passing my exams but can you help me achieve more than this can you help me live a life that is pleasing to you because you're my maker all right so that was the 3rd of March 2019 glory my second birthday <laughs> so ever since that day you know um, I remember the first book that I read I read it with Rose and it was the book of Ephesians hey guys I talk about Ephesians so much on this channel like I talked about it in the previous video I'm talking about it again today but you know if you're beginning a Christian walk I feel like Ephesians is a really good place to start as well as John and all the Gospels getting to know about the love of Jesus but the book of Ephesians sums up um it sums up your christian life your christian work what you ought to do how god had a plan for us how god intentionally brought jesus into our lives so that we could be the sons of god he wanted to adopt us from the world like you get to learn about all that and then how we are engaged in spiritual warfare how you have to put on the whole armor of god and stand in the day of evil like yo guys we really need like we need we need we really need to stand strong and put on the whole armor of God. And it even teaches how children ought to behave, how wife ought to raise, how husbands ought to live. And so yeah, if you're starting off, I feel like Ephesians is a really good book to start with. And it's short, guys. It's so short. It's six chapters and you're done. Like six chapters and that's it. So yeah, after I read the book of Ephesians, I just wax stronger in my faith and i saw how the bible is just reality like it's it's truth it's life and the more that you study god's word light is shared about in your heart and for me personally i am so grateful that i met her i'm so grateful that i had an encounter with god on that particular in that particular year and everything that happened was just god's plan because from there i just received boldness you know and from that i started preaching the gospel like like a mad person <laughs> yeah mad you jesus so yeah man like that's basically my journey guys like it's it's been that was the start of the journey and you know ever since then my life has been from one level of glory to another and i've really witnessed and grown so much in God like there's nothing that can sway me away I am persuaded I am convinced that this thing works and that the Lord is real God is real heaven is real people there is eternal life available to every single person who believes in Jesus Christ there's salvation available to every single person, sinner or non-sinner, whatever you want to call yourself, saint or ain't, you have salvation available through Christ Jesus. And that is so beautiful. I don't know where I'll be if I didn't give my heart fully. I don't know where I'll be. That is the honest truth. I do not know where I'll be. Like, guys, between the years 20... 2013 to 2016 so much happened in my life guys so many bad decisions bad decisions terrible decisions like i already said one of them was peer pressure i literally would skip church because of going to galavant i would literally skip church so i could go try on clothes so i wouldn't go to church I wouldn't enter the actual building, you know, we'll just go buy sweet stuff. But I didn't know that I was missing out on something sweeter in the church. Like, nothing can compare to God's love. Nothing can compare to the sweetness of, like, receiving the word. Hey, come on now. Come on. <laughs> nothing can compare to receiving God's word. It's sweeter than chocolate. Everything that is sweet in this life. God's word is amazing and I was really missing out. I totally regret it because the people that I went to teens ministry with, where they are today, I could have been if I was serious. <laughs> no, but I thank God for my own journey. I feel like we all have our own personal journeys. Lastly, I just want to say that we all have our own personal journeys. You may have given your heart to Christ today, yesterday, five years ago, ten years ago. 
it really doesn't matter how long you've been a Christian, but are you intentionally walking this journey and running it with endurance and running it in the way that God wants you to? You know, because you can just say, I received Jesus Christ and leave it at that. Yes, you will still enter heaven, but there's so much more. There's so much more. Trust me. There's so much more that you can achieve. There's so much more to God. I mean, his wisdom is manifold. Like, it's an ending inexhaustible. So, explore him. Get to know more. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, I'd like for you, you know, to say this prayer and mean it with all your heart. Like, if you genuinely, genuinely want to be and part of God's family, if you want to be born again, I want you to say this prayer. Just put one hand on your chest and close your eyes and bow your head and say, Oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and that God raised him from the dead. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from today and through him and in his name I have eternal life. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. I am now born again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> if you just prayed that prayer, congratulations to you. Welcome to the family of God. I would really, really love to help you in this Christian journey, in this Christian walk. If you are, you know, willing, please do message me. I will leave my socials in the description box message me i want to hear that you gave your heart to jesus christ if you can please do contact me i will personally be more than willing to help you in this christian journey i'll be more than willing to walk it with you if you need someone to disciple you in god's word if you need someone to study god's word with if you need someone to pray anything 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 just hit me up i'll be more than happy to do so Thank you guys for watching this video right till the end. You know, we've reached the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching right till the end. If you haven't already, please subscribe because it's going to put a big smile on my face and like the video if you did enjoy it leave a comment down below of your favorite part of the story and if you also want to be part of you know salvation sundays if you want to be part of you know the next week's episode of salvation sunday just let me know let me know in the comment section or reach out to me i'll be more than happy to feature you on the channel um yeah like comment subscribe love you guys i'll see you again in the next one Love and light.